Why VTubers hate dating? I obviously not all VTubers slash content creators hate dating. And it. Let me let me move back over here. Why do we hate dating? Uh, I need to know. Why do we hate the boss uh, video? Not today. Not today. One of these days, but not today. I obviously not all VTubers slash content creators hate dating. Yeah, in fact, you'd be surprised how many VTubers are in a relationship wait, right wait. now. Some even marry. Cry about it. Someone put a ring on your sheet. But there is a reason a lot of VTubers slash content creators don't want to get into relationships or yeah, keep hush about it. And we're going to talk mean, about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh... Who's that in Tokyo again? Wait, he just got- I need Yo, to give my thanks model, to Kira, Mimu, and Daisuke, uh, as they were the inspiration for this video, model, hence no. why they are in the thumbnail. Mimu's situation being a little bit more, uh, walking into oncoming traffic inducing. Foreshadowing as a narrative device. But, Kira posted this on Twitter, which is them half joking, but this list does provide some real cons. Oh, I saw this, that but I That people that just it. enjoy the content might not realize. And to put in caveman terms, be with uh, streamer right, in loving way equal them. bad. Uh, well, it's not all bad, but it does take some time to get used to, and some people, it's just not for them. It's not as crazy as dating Zendaya, though, because people are on Tom Holland's now ass for a minute. But streamers and content creators in general have very weird and sometimes not exactly healthy uh, schedules. <laughs> There's a reason a lot of us got caffeinated drinks. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, oh. Sponsors. <sighs> hey yo, anyone hit me up. And since we're mostly always working on something, the quality time might be few and far between. Uh, and you. Put kids 155 and rogue uh, at the checkout for 20% off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying you because I, I like talking in examples. But let's say you got with a content creator or a VTuber. Somehow. Don't know how you would manage that. Uh, also, don't take me seriously. I just like cloning all you gang. <laughs> Y'all the best. You are in the crossfire of potential stalkers, trolls, and a lot of people are gonna try and shoot their shot at your nigga. Smashing your check. And then you got wait, some wait, weirdos wait, wait, wait. that What did that say on the bottom? Streamer will get DMs from people interested in her. People will constantly try to sabotage you and the relationship. Have I mentioned to you guys that I have gotten a Twitter DM request in German, may I add? If I am looking for slaves. I've mentioned it on the Discord. I haven't mentioned it yet on the stream, so... Yeah. That one was interesting. That one was interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I... I miss the days when I would just get insults in my DMs, man. I miss the days where people would just come into my DMs and send me hate. What is that weird shit, man? What? <laughs> What's that weird shit, man? Ugh. I'm gonna try and shoot their shot at your nigga. Smashing your check. And then, you got some weirdos that will try to sabotage the relationship. Foreshadowing as a narrative device. That hasn't happened yet. Not only viewers, but other VTubers slash content creators. And when I tell you I've seen some shit, trust me, I've seen some shit. I saw uh -oh. one shoddy's marriage go up in flames because some deep voice VTuber wanted to home wreck like a motherfucker. Shit can get real. You also probably have to deal with the fact that your partner might play uh, Hannah Montana. Uh, she might get on stream and all of You probably have to deal with the fact that your partner might play uh, Hannah Montana. Streamer will probably not tell anyone you exist, but if she does, you better behave because the brand is on the line. Uh, my boyfriend is Exagon, by the way. This full transparency. Uh, Exagon and I are in a relationship for like. A long time now. Tana, uh, she might get on stream and all of a sudden they. Da -da 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 -da, they are single. <laughs> okay, maybe not that crazy, but a lot of VTubers hide that they are with someone. They do. They fucking do hide that. Um, if it's for privacy reasons, that's completely fine. <laughs> My poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, funny. Yeah, you guys thirst over Exegon more than you thirst over me, which is respectable, but <laughs> also funny. <laughs> oh, sevens in the chat for Exegon. <laughs>
either way, I was gonna say, um, if it's for privacy reasons, I fully respect that. Um, for not uh telling anyone about your private life. Uh, fully fucking respectable, right? But if you hide your relationship status just so you can get some little more cash money, you're done. You're done. I no, no respect for you. Sorry. I I don't I don't care. I don't care. That's that's just that's just nah nah uh 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 uh. uh. Or just don't mention it at all, especially if the person is also a VTuber or content creator. Most yeah, don't, don't do this maliciously. Usually, it's to stop the bullshit I mentioned previously. But this also may cause a. It's a little bit silent, doesn't? It? False narrative of people thinking they are available, and even make things like people hitting on them or sending them some freaky ass, hungry, hungry, glizzy ass happen a little bit more often. That may not be a good thing, especially since your significant other may think you are cheating your parasocial fans. If you hide it from what I've seen, you're more likely to attract these viewers with misunderstandings. That is that is true too. That is true too. I've seen some uh cases where someone actually broke up with their significant other. I don't know other genders in this case, but I've seen some where the person broke up with the VTuber because the VTuber was being too parasocial with uh, their audience. That shit was insane. As it comes down to, are they keeping their private life private or if they are leaning into like, are you single when you aren't too thirst trapped? Yeah, that's, that's what I mean, often. that's what I mean. You also gotta understand that they may stream with someone often and have good chemistry, but don't get in your head about it and think they I'm up to no know good. That. Also, VTubers, if you in a relationship, it's your job to also reassure your partner. You may have to do this a little bit more than um, most. VTubers might also not really talk about the relationship due to branding purposes, which saying out loud sounds fucked up in all the wrong ways. You're a victim. Unless you with another content creator about that can uh that can cause some issues. Oh my god. But VTubers slash content creators, if you decide to be with someone, it is your job to compromise with some things. I get it, having a messy schedule can make some shit a little hard, bro, but bro, you decided to have- why, uh, Time management is, is so hard. Time management on my side is so fucking hard. Because of my fucking up, fucked up sleeping schedule, I'm still trying to get my sleeping schedule fixed, man. Nah, uh, shit's hard. <laughs> Time management, uh, I hate time management. Have a partner. Well, if I'm being honest, no. And that Parasocial works out so well always. I wonder if he will touch on the shippers. There are a lot of shippers that ship VTubers together. Sleeping sketchy, what's that, honestly? That person no shouldn't idea. have to deal with constantly Sleeping being schedule. put on the back burner. Oh, so and she. to you, well, the hypothetical you that managed to cop a content creator baddie. You have to be a little more understanding to a certain extent of their job and the very chaotic way it moves. Obviously, if you're a VTuber or a content creator yourself, you would have this knowledge. Speaking of which, <laughs> let's talk about VTubers with other VTubers. Or content creators on other content creators. It's interchangeable, really. Uh, shit can get messy really fast. You're a victim! There's a series of ways this relationship can play out. There is the Mika Neku route, where you hide it and even lie about it. But once your fan base realizes you've been actively hiding and lying, now I gotta pull up. Everybody dying, me included. They make oh. loser. <laughs> There's the just coming out and saying it, which is um, probably the better route since you're being transparent with the audience. No. But you may lose a few simps uh, because those are the I don't care. Like I, 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 honestly, I don't fucking care. Like I, I wanna make this completely fucking clear that I am in a relationship and I have no fucking interest in breaking up in my relationship because someone spends a shit ton of money on me, for example. I, I, I am sorry if anyone out there thinks if they spend money on a content creator, they can get with them. I don't care. I've n no. Get the fuck out of here if you think that. So, yeah. Moving on. Let's be honest. Not all of them, but a, but a lot of them. A, a, a lot How much do you cost? <laughs> An auction? What is this?
And then you have the slowly trying to come out and dropping obvious hints route, which sounds like a very, very good idea. Foreshadowing is a narrative device. So unfortunately, I do have an example of some of the worst things that can happen when dating another VTuber, with uh -oh. a sprinkle, a heavy oh, sprinkle, a oh parasocial no. fan bases. Oh so basically, no. a VTuber by the name of Nimuho, uh, we're gonna call him uh Nimu for sure, uh, and Daisuke are in a relationship, a very happy one. Them. I swear to God, if that statement oh. ages like milk, I'll... And even they stream with each other. Wait, 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 wait. That statement nope. ages like milk. Oh, okay. And even they stream That's with cute. each other often. Niggas are most likely cute. already shipping them. And the plan to come out and say, yeah, we dating, was to slowly roll out clues to make it obvious, which to be fair to a lot of fans, it was pretty fucking obvious. But some of the crazy ones kind of went on their Rushia tip. Oh yeah, I also remember, uh, I remember two VTubers actually that, that are dating, like Yanis and, and uh, what's, what's her boyfriend, Ethel, I think, called, where they accidentally, like, showed it, where people were suspecting it, but, were, uh, like, they didn't know, and then Yanis called him babe by accident, and shit, uh, then it went out, and now they're just openly dating, and, would you look at that, they still have their big fan bases, people are still supporting them. <laughs> I don't doubt that some people stop watching, but they're still big. Actually, honest, the real reason why we're here. <laughs> when they came out, Nimu was getting harassed a fuck ton. I probably put a funny what? edit there, but like real shit, what the they fuck? were OD. Uh, there's a whole duck detailing their experience, and shit is still being discovered. Like a whole ass secret what? server that had Nemo's ex in it. So wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait! I completely missed the fucking plot. What happened? Which, to be fair to a lot of fans, it was pretty fucking obvious. Yeah. But some of the crazy ones kind of went on their Rushia tip. When they came out, Nemo was getting harassed a fuck ton. What? What? I probably put a funny edit there. Bruh. But like real shit, they were OD. Uh, there's a whole duck detailing their experience and shit is still being discovered. Like a whole ass secret server that had Nemo's ex in it. Secret so, server? Yeah. And her ex? Are you fucking dumb? What? I, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Uh, I'm not gonna go everything, but I'll link the doc if you want to fully know what's happening with them. But long story short, now that they came out, some fans went to Twitter and just started acting creepy as fuck. Some fans manipulated others to go against Bruh. Nimu and Daisuke, causing a riot in their server, stalking even their fans. Give me your meat. Give me your meat. Uh, going absolutely insane. And again, this isn't just VTubers. This can happen to any sort of content creator. Uh, one thing we also have to talk about is what happens if y'all break up? <laughs> it's so a little bit awkward then. Well, if you're not with another content creator, then it's probably not that bad. <laughs> but oh boy. Why do people care? Parasocial behavior, that's why. I might be a weird one, but I do expect everyone to be dating or being in a relationship with someone on the internet, which is why I also rarely say anything as I'm all time just lurking in chat. Mm, that's... Fair, I guess. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, I got nothing. I, I generally think some people are generally just single and there's nothing more to it. <laughs> like, but there definitely are people also just hiding it. So I guess it would be better to just assume that they are in a relationship than getting your hopes up if the person is like more powerful. So, but yeah, who knows? Who knows, really? You with another content creator. <laughs> And it's well known. Bro, you never get yeah, hi. Nine times out of ten, your community did find you from YouTube and didn't. Just thank you. I don't expect everyone to be dating or relationship, but I also don't expect to have a chance to begin with unless something happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's well known. Bro, you ain't never getting out the hood. Nine times out of ten, your communities are slightly tied, especially if you collab in a lot. So if y'all break up, that can cause some discourse. Say, so if y'all break, break up, up that can cause some discourse. Don't even get me started with salty egg that tried to make lies on you to ruin what you built. That, like, you hate to see that. You hate to see that shit, man. It's just safer to assume they might be in a room. Can't assume stop any person. But yeah. And again, fuck up the business. 
Which, now that I'm saying it, is also probably a reason some VTubers keep their relationships Definitely. hush. And all this bullshit Definitely. is why you hear content creators say, I will never date another content creator, because it can cause issues like these. Hey, but at least on the bright side, you always know where that nigga's gonna be. In their room. Shit, you can watch them if you want. Um, that's kind of like the only part I can think of on the spot. I did this after I recorded the whole video. I've been up all night editing and shit. Please help. Aww. And uh, th that was pretty much the video. <laughs> Thanks again to Kira, Nimu, and Daisuke for the inspiration. And uh, like and subscribe and shit. Uh, be a member or patron to get vids early. And uh, shit. Yeah, I'm out. I do like his vid. Also, is your content creator. Yo, I've reached his size now. Yo, I've reached the subscriber size now. Wow. Wow, that's insane to me. Wow. Wait, like, I'm, I, 11.6k, holy shit, holy shit, did I link it yet? I don't know, here's the link again if I did already, wow, wow, love his videos, same, I do love his videos too, so, it's like I've been watching his videos for quite a while. Oh, double link, let's go. Was it a double link? Well, better be safe than sorry, you know? I've been watching his videos for quite a while now. Even, I think, even before I started uh, uh, VTubing. That's, that's crazy. Oh, what? Did you two oop did pop off? It really did. It was twitched. That's wow. I wonder if he knows I exist. Uh, that would be cool. <laughs> Oh no, lady, I just watch a content creator without worrying about their relationship status. LEGIT! LEGIT! Who, who gives a fuck if they're in a relationship?